What's up everyone and welcome to my new video where today we're going to be going over what an order block actually is and how to use an order block. This partners very well with our daily, daily bias video last week as you can definitely use it in terms of finding a daily bias and on lower time frames to find an entry. So first of all we have to start by defining order block and clearing up any misconceptions around these. First of all, an order block is the change in state of delivery. So when the algorithm is has delivered buy side and then now is to deliver sell side, it often uses an order block to change this state of delivery. And what an order block actually is, is the succession of down close candles left during a move up and a succession of up close candles left during a down move. This is a misconception as most people think the very last uh, down close candle is the order block rather than the succession of down close candles. So for, an, for example here, as price moved up and then moved away, these candles, these three up close candles here are the order block. So on this daily candle, on a smaller time frame, this move up is mitigating these order blocks. Of course sometimes we'll see price react and then come back to these. I just want to clear up the fact that the order block is not this very last candle or on this example here it is not just this candle. This by theory is the whole order block. Now that we know what an order block actually is let's get some lipstick on the chart and show you some examples of these used in context. So as you can see price took sell side liquidity down here and I mentioned these three successive down close candles before breaking structure upwards are the order block. However just for um, chart sake I use this as the down close candle because if price retraces into a deep discount into the final down close candle then we can just use this as our order block even though in theory I want you all to remember that this is a whole order block. So price ran away, came back as you can see here right into this order block straight away, moved up, came into a deep discount into the order block, moved away once more and then once again came into these order blocks or order block as one into a discount as you can see this swing low to this swing high equilibrium is here ran into the discount of these moved away and now I want you to pause and point out where the next order block is is it in here here or around this area so as you can see I've outlined the order block and if you guys said this order block then that is correct. Why is it this order block? Well because after coming into this discount we ran away and then these two are the biggest most bold down close candles before the move up. So what did price do? Came back down into it, tapped, ran away, tapped again, took out this liquidity by the way. Remember we talk about imbalances and liquidity, that's all we're worried about as ICT concept traders. Run once more, what is left up here after we come down, engineered liquidity because these are now relative equal highs. Retail thinks it's going to drop off and take out all these um, lows. However, look what happened again, this order block was used once more and again this is probably a PD array on a one hour chart for example and then price finally runs takes out the equal highs. This just goes to show how an order block can be used f up to five times. It can be used as many times as the algorithm wants. Just to take you down into an example this bit of price action here is that order block that we just spoke about where price mitigated it up to five times. This is the very final tap that I was talking about. So on the one hour chart now price ran up 
and then down here came in to mitigate this feather you got left in a discount by the way from this swing to this swing and then I want to point out how when price ran up this down close candle or these technically after this run up here on this wick price came down where did it drop to these ran up again and then that's exactly how order blocks are used after a move so we've had our daily order block a run up fair value get mitigated and then down close candles are left so when we're in a bullish scenario we should be looking for down close candles to hold as actual support every down close candle should hold as support for example here held and then what's this another down close candle price ran once more came back into it ran again held once more and then ran completely to buy side liquidity I also told you all that I was going to define high probability order blocks and because these are obviously the most helpful and the most accurate in finding a price move so let's start by defining what one is so a high probability order block is the candles which will act as an order block need to have taken liquidity out and secondly as price moves up or down whilst creating the order block it needs to leave a fair value gap so in this example sell side liquidity is taken buy side liquidity is up here this is our dealing range this is what we're working with after price takes sell side liquidity we want to see a reactionary move which is exactly what we get upwards at this point we can wait for our order block to hold which is what it's not just this down close candle it's these two and you might ask why is this a high probability order block because these candles which are the order block take out liquidity down here so as we move up create a fair value gap as well two of them therefore this is a high probability order block when we come down into it we can expect this to hold for higher prices and it does exactly that now what do we do again keep watching down close candles hold as support as we move towards buy side liquidity so i want to make a point on how this doesn't actually come into these two which is our order block right it comes into the wick but I like to use the bodies mainly so it doesn't look like it returned to this order block does it however I want to point out how after we moved up ignore all this from this candle onwards ignore it for now moved up we expect a retracement into here and look what we get the very next candle retraces into this order block and moves away runs to buy side liquidity so my point is sometimes it's hard to see the mitigation of the order block because the very next candle may do it this did it here so price didn't need to reach down into the body of this at this swing you might have been waiting here for it to mitigate it when it already has done of course a lot of times price will actually dig deeper and run but this is an example of why it doesn't need to so order block theory in general is quite a simple concept once you understand that it's the succession of down close candles rather than just the final one and once you can define high probability ones i hope this video taught you something about how to incorporate order blocks into your trading and how to use them properly i hope it also cleared up misconceptions around them and it's just a short one to get you to understand all of that Anyway, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe as there's more content coming and I'll start to upload twice a week within the next few weeks. So if you liked, please do leave a like and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.